What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit unusual for my channel. Uh, and that is we're going to be unboxing the uh, FXRC P38 uh, airplane. Now, I usually don't unbox such things on my channel. Most Mostly RC tanks, like this one over here. Um, trucks and, you know, travel vlogs. But... In this case, we're going to be taking a look at this plane because this is a hobby that I've always had my eye on. I've never really gotten into it uh, as most have, but, you know, I figured, you know what, let's give it a shot. And I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, uh, buy a trainer plane. Now, what a trainer plane is, is it's most likely, um, well, not most likely, what it is, is it's an easy to fly, ready to run, except, you know, just you have to assemble it. Uh, remote control plane that uh, beginners use and I guess you could say I am a beginner I've only flown like those little plastic helicopter things nothing like a plane wise um, this is all foam construction so and it is electric which is a plus and uh, let's see here it comes with a 3.7 volt 300 mAh LiPo battery it states that the flight time is about 20 minutes um, and then it just talks to you about the weight length and wingspan right over there uh, so let's get into this thing I'm not gonna be flying it today because I have to go down to a specific uh, place where I can do that uh, but today we're just gonna be unboxing it taking a look at it maybe starting it up if, if that's if we get to that point um, but let's en enough talk let's get to it so there's the front obviously there's a picture of the plane I figured I'd go with the World War II style plane because most of my tanks here from World War II. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of into that now. Uh, let's see here. You got the name, upper air, whatever. And then there's the back. So, claims it's a stunt flying air aircraft. We'll just have to see if that's true. And nothing else. Just say uh, ages 12, uh, 14 plus on there. And there's the back. So, okay, let's get this thing out of the box and see if we can assemble it real quick. Okay, let's use my knife here, cut this thing open. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention is um, I paid around 50 bucks for this thing. Now, 50 bucks for an RC plane is not bad because there's a lot of cheaper planes that, uh, well, let's just say not the best quality out there and you pay like 20 bucks, 30 bucks for them. Um, but this is more of like a better quality RC plane that uh, will last for, you know, as long as you would take care of it. Uh, but there's the plane out of the box. So, um, yeah, we just take it out like this, I think. Let me see here. Yep. Oh, okay. So, you got to slide it back a little bit like this. There we go. That is a lot lighter than I expected. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. There's no, no wonder this thing flies right away. Um, there's the plane, looks really nice, I like the star on the tip of the wing there, and yeah, that's where the battery goes underneath, and I think, yeah, you can go ahead and attach landing gear if you wish, let's go ahead and find that, uh, okay, so we got landing gear, spare props in here, and your charger for your battery, uh, here is your manual, all in Chinese, that's a great help. And then here is the uh, remote. That's great. I just broke one of the <laughs> joysticks. Okay. Okay, so I had to go fetch this uh, thumb piece right here because it literally just came off like this. Um, but that's no biggie because it can go back in like that. Um, I went ahead and put the batteries uh, that go in this remote, which is uh, just about three AA batteries and then you put it back in like this and it closes let's see how it turns on just like that and right away it's gonna try uh, searching for the plane um, you know but it's not gonna find it yet because we haven't turned the plane on uh, that's good it works so this is your basic uh, functions up and down and then you know left and right talking about the uh, the rudders back here I believe and then let's look, take a look at the parts it came with. Okay, 
So we got three spare wheels over here. Um, we're most likely just gonna go ahead and use those for now and the rest will technically be counted as spares. Uh, spare props, we don't need those because it's already on there. Um, I thought this was actually the battery, like the one battery that it comes with. Upon further inspection, looks like there's already, if I can open this thing, looks like there's already a battery in there. So that's great. We'll just see if it turns on. Um, that's what it comes with here. This bag, so you got your spare um, wheels in there. Now this is actually your charger for, get that out of there, your um, battery. So that's what you plug it up to and charge it with. So everything put aside, let's just use this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels on the plane, see if the plane can turn on uh, from the beginning and we'll see if we can turn it on. And you know. Okay, so I went ahead and installed the landing gear, so we're good on that part. And now all we have to do is turn it on, make sure and see if the battery is even charged or if there's any charge in the battery and see if we can get this plane to start. So. Like I said, we're not gonna fly today. We're just gonna see if it works. So let's go ahead and turn on the remote. I remember watching a video that in order to calibrate the plane to fly, uh, you need to press it up and down. Um, so we're gonna try doing that. Now, okay. There it is, perfect. We are connected. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the ground and see how this thing will start up. Oh yeah, look at that guys, wow. That's got quite a bit of power to it. Okay, let's see if it'll go back. Nice, let's see if we can make it turn by pressing this here. Oh, okay. Um, obviously it can't go backwards because it's not an RC car, <laughs> um, but okay, that's great. We know it works. And this is where I'm going to have to end off the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, stay tuned for the test flight of this thing, and uh, stay tuned for the final reveal of my project tank. Um, those of you that guessed on the community uh, uh, page of the channel, um, some of you are right, some of you are wrong, but you know, the video is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool little thing if I do say so myself. Very light, um, obviously, because it's made from foam, but um, definitely a nice little piece to display on the shelf. That's if I don't destroy it during the test flight. 